Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome to another video. This is Sean. I do sneakers, I do travel, and everything in between. So, good morning to you guys. It's 10.30 in the morning. Good whatever time it is you're watching this video from. Hello there. Today's the release of the Adidas Ultra Boost Game of Thrones series. I'm getting in line. I'm not even a fan of the show. I'll tell you what. I did watch Game of Thrones, but I, I dropped it um, season three. Um, I just found it ridiculous. Okay? Don't be harsh on me. And what brings me there is the hype. Sometimes we fall for it, right? It's not typically me, but it's a shoe that just has so much hype around it. And as of last night, you know what? I never really had plans of getting a pair. The malls open at 11. There are two stores in the mall that I'm going to that that carry the, the Game of Thrones Ultra Boosts. Yeah, so I have two lines to choose from. And those lines are gonna be long. I'm guessing those lines are gonna be long. It's a last minute decision to go and get a pair if I do get a pair, if I do get lucky, right? So it's a last minute decision because uh, uh, my, my heart is not really into it because uh, with me, when it comes to shoes, I, I judge it by how it makes me feel. And I'm not feeling uh, strongly enough for these Game of Thrones Ultra Boosts because I'm not a fan of the show. I got a ton of Ultra Boosts already, but but it's a highly, highly, highly celebrated pair, and I'm very curious. And uh, just like many of you, uh, just like many of you who plan to pick up a pair today, I'm getting in line. I've been checking Instagram, I've been checking the forums, and people are angry. A lot of people are angry with the release mechanics of these sneakers because number one they're releasing it on a weekday people will be at work and number two they're releasing it on a first come first serve basis with first come first serve releases you usually want to be there three four hours before uh, the release time right but I'm cutting it really close. We're about 20 minutes away from 11. We had just parked. I'm approaching the entrance. I see a line, but I'm not sure if that's the sneaker line or just the line of people just trying to get inside the mall. Uh, we'll know as we get closer. <laughs> Here we go. Um, tagal na rin yun? Sumbrero. Uh, 0917-87. Thank you. Yeah, so here's the situation. I got my pair, it wasn't my first choice. I had wanted to get the House Stark um, Ultra Boosts. I ended up with uh, the White Walkers. That's fine, it's my second choice anyway. The problem here is that they ran out of sizes really quick. Um, Sneak Peek did get their drop, but they received it in very limited quantities. fan of the show I'm not supposed to have the shoe but I have it and it's kind of growing on me it's sitting here right beside me and uh, the excitement is slowly building up right uh, let's talk about the shoe when we get home 
Hey, we're home. And I'm happy about the shoes. I've been exchanging messages with my brother. Um, he also got his pair. He got in line in another location. And he tells me that the line there was crazier, it was longer, and the sizes ran out quicker. The shoe is growing on me and now I feel so much better. It's getting better and better as, as, as the minutes pass. That's the box over here. Uh, great detail here. You got the Game of Thrones uh, branding at the top next to the Adidas Three Stripes. Uh, got the tab right there. I'm a size 10. 8,900 pesos. That's about $180 US. And this is a true unboxing, by the way. Um, the situation there was pick up, get out. The official colorway is cloud white, core black glow blue, Game of Thrones tissue paper. Ah, this, this is nice. This just gets nicer and nicer by the minute. Wow. This is the Adidas Ultra Boost Game of Thrones White Walker. Beautiful. This is a predominantly white prime knit upper, and if you look closely, there's uh, blue accents on the knit pattern. And of course, the inspiration for the shoe are the White Walkers. So who are the White Walkers? And forgive me if I'm totally botching this, okay? The White Walkers are these monsters who come out of nowhere and they live in the snow. Hence the, the snow theme. They have these icy blue accents. The heel cup is done in icy blue. The cage is icy blue with the three stripes done in black. Uh, you got the, the black leather Adidas branding right here. It's an image of, uh, looks, looks like a blizzard, right? The detail on the outsole is just nice. You have, it, it's a white outsole with blue speckles. It feels wintry. White boost. And uh, over at the back here, winter is here. On the other side, it's the same thing. Winter is here. Insole. Game of Thrones. White laces. Black lace tips with that uh, White Walker's detail. White. Walkers. At the toolbox here, you have this icy blue protective material. Black text ultra boost. Black sock liner. This is really nice. What started out as a day of meh, they're releasing the Ultra Boost Game of Thrones series today, so what? Yeah, last minute decision, I went. This wasn't even my first choice, but you know what? It's, I'm happy I have this over the, over the Starks. They're just so nice. That's a sweet surprise. You know what? Maybe I'll start watching the show again. Oh, hey, do you want a free pair of sneakers in your size? I'm giving away a brand new pair of Vans Skate High sneakers when we reach 1,100 subscribers. All you have to do is to subscribe. All you have to do is to comment your size in the link at the description. Don't comment your size on this video. Comment your size on the link at the description, not this video. All right. Thanks for supporting the channel. Good luck. And in case you don't know it yet, Ultra Boosts usually run true to size. It's true to size for me, I'm a size 10. But they tend to run short for some people. You might have to go half up. So the best way to go is to try the shoes on before buying them. And I guess that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the journey. 
to bring home these white walkers. Hope you enjoyed my on-hand review. I'll see you on the next video. So Ned Stark dies, um, Joffrey becomes king, um, Khal Drogo dies, and uh, um, Khaleesi becomes queen, and 